What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, September the 25th. Right here is probably a little after about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, as you can see in the header, new property slash tempo. Um, what I mean is I was contacted over the weekend about this property. I actually mowed a property beside it on a bi-weekly basis. Anyway, the, the owner of this one contacted me over the weekend and asked, you know, hey, could you take a look at my property and let me know how much it would be. You know, they fell on some hard times with their mower, pretty much went down. And they asked, could I take care of it? And I was like, yeah, of course, you know, cause it's right beside a house that I already do. And that is one thing that really, you know, helps is the rock consolidation. Cause I mean, it's literally, I can drive through both yards and mow in one big stretch. But anyway, I said, yeah, I'll take care of it. and. I went out, I cut it, I gave them the price, I got paid and you know, I was asked, hey, maybe one more time before the season's up and that's fine. I, I have absolutely no problem with that because it's literally not driving out of my way. It's not, you know, causing any strain of loading equipment to go to the destination. It's literally just driving from one yard to the next. So guys and girls, just as everybody preaches, just be mindful that people are definitely paying attention to the work that you do. And that's an easy way to get a neighbor is to do great work at the house beside it because when they walk outside, you know, whether if it's the property in front or back of them, they're going to see it and they're going to say, hey, that's, that's some pretty good work. And I may consider this company for my property just in case something goes down. And I would honestly probably say that's probably how it went for me and look at what I was granted. So a pretty another wide open yard um, like I said, it took me about an hour and a half to get it, you know, pretty much the way that I want it to be, especially for the next time that I go out and handle it. And y'all sit back and enjoy the ride, and we'll get back with you shortly. And guys, if you pay close attention in this video, I kind of got thrown off by the property line. Um, there was another property line, the property that actually is to the opposite side of this one, which I say would be the back side. The pipe was actually throwing me off on this one because I'm like, okay, I know these are some pretty good sized properties and that property pipe threw me off. So once I saw the actual property line for this property, which is down by the taller pine tree, if you're looking at your screen on the left-hand side, that's where the actual property line ended for this property. So that's one thing I want to throw out there as a tip. Guys, it doesn't happen too frequently, but just be mindful that some people are very stern about their property line. They don't want you to come an inch over that property line 
or they're going to have some type of issue. That's just, you know, people's preference. I don't I don't understand why some people make it such a big deal, but I've seen some YouTube videos on here where people have had the police called on them. I've seen where there have been arguments just because you accidentally cross that property line or you get some clippings over that property line or anything. So guys, just be very mindful where you are and even talk with these property owners. Hey, you know, tell me about your neighbor. You know, I don't want to accidentally put anything on their property by mistake or cross their property line by accident with my mower. You know, you think they're going to have a problem or, you know, just I want to see your point of view on what your neighbor may be if I accidentally cross your property line. Because sometimes, guys, it's just, it's just going to happen. It's just literally something sometimes that's happening. So be mindful. Stay very aware of property lines because, like I said, some people are very strict about that. So be safe out there, fellas and girls, and continue to enjoy.
guys, I really don't have too much really to say today. Um, hopefully you made it this far. But um, the last thing I'll bring up is, I remember right when this neighborhood first was developed, um, I had my doubts in the beginning about coming out here advertising just because I just was new at the time. When these houses came up and I just was pretty much, you know, scared to come out here and advertise because I just didn't want that letdown feeling to happen. But lo and behold, when I did advertise, I ended up getting two in the beginning out of all of the houses that I put cards in. So now I, I mean, you know, I understand if they get this more fixed and repaired and go back to cutting their own more, mowing their own property, I mean, but here's the thing. If they don't, let's just say I land this property as a, a full-time property in the season to come for 2024. That to me is an accomplishment, you know. Granted, I didn't get this property in the beginning, but just seeing my work over time, I'm sure is why they trust entrusted me to come out here and take care of this property for them. So my point on this is, and I'm closing out this video, hopefully, you know, y'all made it this far, is don't be afraid to advertise in certain neighborhoods. Even if you're brand new, you gotta get, you know, your feet wet somewhere. You know, a lot of people say start, you know, in your own neighborhood. That's a great idea. A lot of people say start with family and friends. That's a great idea. A lot of people say, you know, if you do lawn care part time, reach out to your co-workers and see whether, you know, they need anything or know anyone who may need grass cutting. You know, a lot of ways to get out there and get it done. But my main thing is don't be afraid to go out and advertise 100% yourself um don't be afraid to grab the bull by the horns and just go in these neighborhoods there are so many neighborhoods popping up in my area where i you know reside at there's so many yards out there that somebody's going to want to be maintained and mowed so go out there in your neighborhoods where these new homes are being built put your flyers out put your street signs out and get out there and get you some clients guys and girls, just get out there and get to it. Um, I can honestly say without any exaggeration in my area, I literally see about 15 to 20 different lawn care companies every morning, every afternoon, and every evening when they're wrapping up their day. Some of these bigger companies I've seen, you know, before I even got started, you know, those, you know, are the grandfathered in companies. I mean, they've been around for a while. But if you realize that there are a lot of people now getting into the lawn care industry, going out mowing grass, that should speak a whole lot on, you know, there's a lot of opportunities out there. And you just have to be willing to dive in head first in those areas and do what the next person won't do or perfect your craft a little bit better than the next person because we all are learning at the same time in this game. But go out there and make yourself known. And your phone, your emails, are constantly be going off for new people wanting new work from you. So guys, I'm wrapping this video up. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully some positive vibes in it. That's all I really want to put out there. If you made it this far, you enjoy what you see, you know, the oddly satisfying mowing, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free to do both of them. Leave some comments below on how you got started in your lawn care business or just being an entrepreneur in general. And, you know, maybe when people read your comment, that'll just give them even more motivation to get out of here and get to it. So, guys, I'm wrapping this video up. Y'all be safe. This is Simon from Grants Lawn Care. I'm checking out of here. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.